Hello and welcome back to Rimworld and the Covenant of Impani, our uh, Sangbophagera. So, last episode was fairly uneventful overall, but um, we did make a couple gains in research. So, it looks like we're doing a little bit of cooking here. I do want to mine out a bunch of steel because I need it. I want to get another generator up and running i want to get an electric smelter up and running and i want to get a biofuel refinery up and running so we could start getting more chem fuel and make chem fuel powered plants going forward ideally anyway um i feel like we do not have enough people for everything that we need to get done like the food is always ready to harvest yet is not getting harvested in time um we also have several things going on here so looks like we got a couple flak helmets but those are never being hauled to storage so we never get around to um putting them on which would be super helpful um here we go i have to manually haul it did i force wear that no no she so flak helmets are really good because they pretty much protect you from getting at least one shot from a headshot um, that's not to say it's guaranteed, but it, it significantly reduces the risk that you're going to die from a single shot. Um, so I definitely think those are always worth doing. The only other issue we have left is we want to do flak vests and we can't really reliably do that until we have, um, until we have uh, a steady supply of components and plasteel. All right, this is creeping up on negative two. I'm really, 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 really hoping that we get to the point where um, I can do it consistently um, get food running, get food harvested, and then also get to the research step of moisture pumps so that we can start pumping out some of this moisture in the ground because that's what's really causing us a lot of grief with being able to build stuff in certain places or not build stuff in certain places uh being the you know bigger issue so uh let's figure out where that dirty spot is there it is i couldn't even see it uh mad capybara okay so jiang you have a mad capybara coming after you anyone else nearby of course not all right let's uh let's keep running then Hopefully you can outrun the capybara. You guys come over here, help out. Okay, you're good now. I gotta imagine between the three of them, they could take out a, a an angry capybara. I mean, I was almost wrong, but they did manage to do it. So that's good. All right, we got a fair amount of steel on the map now. I don't think we need to mine anymore. Um, let's definitely prioritize hauling that stuff back to base if we can. So that we can get these different things built that we want to get built some of them do require components so it might take a little bit but we do have some components on the shelf so it's not like we're completely without it um combat supplier that could be good uh, it's definitely not guaranteed to be good but let's make chem fuel from wood and do it until we have 100 now nah, let's let's do 200 chem fuel just to have some in the bank and then this is um, connected, but we just don't have enough power until we get this other wood fire generator built. And that, it, to be honest, at some point we need to switch that to a chem fuel generator. All right, now they're going around and doing some harvesting, which is good. A little unfortunate that couldn't be a little earlier. Looks like Ruminette is working on some of the clothing stuff. I am a little surprised GA hasn't put helmet on yet. I thought we had at least one helmet still around. Let's make a bill to smelt apparel. We actually want a couple smelt apparels, smelt weapons, smelt metal. So we want to just do this forever as the last resort. And we want to do all of these forever. Then we need to make very specific um, settings here. So painted apparel of all kinds. And every type is probably first on the list. Now, for weapons, 
Biocode weapons of all types are on the list to smelt. And then the other apparel option is to smelt anything that's got like 0 to 52% hit points. Anything that we can, uh, because that will get rid of all the old stuff that we don't need anymore. Um, we could also destroy apparel, and that is probably uh probably worthwhile um the other thing i want to do here because this isn't going to be bio coded but i do pretty much want to melt down any melee weapon like this that's just going to give us free steel essentially and then grenade wise we never use tox grenades we never use frag grenades anything that's kind of a lower end tech i think is Pretty safe to smelt. Uh, machine pistols, pump shotguns, revolvers, ox bomb launchers. Everything else potentially, I mean, LMGs probably not, but everything else possibly will be something we have in the colony, so I don't want to necessarily set that up yet. Um, the other thing I need to do is drop on floor on all of this because I don't want to waste time hauling it back to a stockpile. So we could just rapidly churn out um melting fast as possible uh let's go ahead and drop up we'll probably make a little work area here at some point but for now we don't have that much material to, to worry about that all right jiang you are a social butterfly let's go ahead and trade with zippy see if you got anything uh worthwhile to do there and of this, uh, we don't, I mean, we don't have any money, so it had, we'd have to be able to sell them something. No, nothing, nothing really available. So, that is what it is. Let, let's haul this stuff onto a shelf so it stops breaking down. Clean up this trash while we're in here. So, I'm a little curious as to why we are not wearing a helmet. We are capable of it. All right, what's going on with the prisoners? We're reducing resistance. Let's switch that back to a hemogen farm. You, we are working on recruiting. We've already converted you. So that's fine. This growing zone, we have not actually planted anything yet. So we have some harvesting ahead of us. It looks like, again, we're just behind in pretty much everything. So we can actually haul this away and that would meet the criteria, I think. No, still? Normal to legendary. All right, so I think the issue was just dropping it on the ground. All right, Rubenet's got to get back to intellectual tasks because um, I wonder why it's only seeing. Did we not just make another flag helmet? Oh, Jiang finally picked one up. Okay, so I guess legitimately we did not have enough flag helmets that were unflagged at the moment when it's evaluating. All right, we really need to get this done, probably more than anything, because can't can't smelt until this is done. Not that we really have the capacity to smelt right now. Uh, self tame boom loop, okay. All right, there we go. Wood fire generator. Fill that. That is enough consistent juice to keep this electric smelter up and running. So hopefully, when we have a free moment, which is you know rare, but hopefully we can. Uh, Get over there and start breaking some of this. Got to get that clean because I don't want food poisoning from a dirty space. And eventually we've got to start hauling some stuff. 2.3 days. We got a little time on that. We are at least starting to uh, harvest. And the good news is we must not be running that low on food if we're constantly able to keep up with it. And we are doing lavish meals, which keeps the mood elevated. Right? That's 12. So that's good. I do really need to get more electricity, though. We stop using these torch lamps. Somebody needs to do a little cleaning around here. This is getting a little, a little dirty. All right, looks like we're getting back to having hungry pen animals, which is never a good thing. We do have a ton of wood, and I am grateful to at least be able to churn through a lot of that. Right, we got enough food. I don't know why it keeps getting distracted by the food. All right, we are making a flak mess. We got some material out of breaking down some of that uh, tainted equipment. So some of it was uh, tainted flak vests. I think I said earlier I need plastic. I think it was more the cloth. 
Then some of that blood. He's ravenously hungry. Oh come on, he's not even not even down to zero percent. Well you guys could duke it out, maybe. Try not to kill each other. Figure it out. Right, let's clean up some of this blood. Don't want to be in a messy prison. We still have not harvested all of this. Uh oh. We got a panther coming after Raven. I'm just gonna say post up here. We are spending way too much time getting distracted by other things. Uh, I do want to chop a bunch of these down. How's this prisoner escaping? Did we? Oh, because there's food in the doorway? Really? Go grab that simple meal. All that simple meal out of the way because that caused the door to stay open. Want to do that? All right, looks like we're finally. Melting and breaking down a bunch of that old equipment, which is good. That gives us extra material to work with. Yes, and we're about probably got rid of almost everything that we need to smelt. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and just toggle power on this real quick. Otherwise, he's just gonna run around forever, getting um, getting the little uh, what you call it, flag chunks. But if we're to slag chunks, that means we've already smelted everything that we smelt, so. Alright, everybody is sleeping. Doing fairly well. A little unfortunate those simple meals rotted away, because, like, they definitely could have gone to use. If anything, uh, gone to use feeding our animals. Let's actually go do that. Set this to critical priority. Uh, let's haul these simple meals over to the animals, and then we can worry about doing something okay so this was an event psychic wave all monkeys on the map are mad let's take a look at the wildlife screen so there's several like over here let's go ahead and post up get ready for a monkey invasion i think you are just going to come down here i guess i'm the mostly die hitting traps we could always build more traps i'm not that worried about that we have so much wood it's ridiculous well, I don't have any starving animals anymore. This one was getting real close to dying, though. So I'm kind of grateful we did that. I think there's probably two more. One, two. Oh, they made it to Anfisa. All right. We are good. That was the last uh, berserk monkey we have to worry about. Hopefully, we will um, start chopping some of these trees down. I'm glad Rubinette is back to researching. That is... Really high priority. Have to get this microelectronics done. It would also be really nice if we did a little more tailoring. Oh, I am worried about the dirtiness. It is dirty in here. All this flak vest and then somebody should equip it now that it's storage. Rubinette was our man for that. All right, so it's not counting all of this leather because it is all not in a storage. All right, some of this um, meat expires, so I'm that sense I'm grateful she's spending the time to cook some of it up because should probably take advantage of that while we can that being said there are a lot of animals that need to be butchered a lot over here some of them are probably spoiling relatively soon distance on him again we're almost done recruiting um Isidoros or Isidoros Hopefully somebody will have time to, you know, finish planting food, let alone get around to chopping all this stuff. I feel like none of that ever happens. All right, I think we need to get back to putting this as preferred so that they uh, doesn't run around all, all the time to try to put something over there. Uh, there's also some cleaning that needs to be done because that was getting a little, little dicey. Oh, the shelf's already full. All right. That explains that. Unfortunate, but I gotta use up as much of this meat as I can. Pretty much as fast as I can. Because it's running out of life. Eight hours on that. Okay, that is the majority of it. So let's go ahead and start butchering. Certainly is a lot of butchering to do. And a lot of corpses that are gonna be firing in pretty short order. All right, some planting is finally getting done. And then as a result, we are now actually tailoring some stuff too. I think we only have like 10 hours on that, so we definitely have to get this done sooner than later. 
Hey, bulk goods. Bulk goods is always good. All right, we got a little time on those. Her mood's getting a little dicey, so go ahead and clear those prioritized tasks. Clean up some of this blood. Okay, she starts cooking again. Where's that bulk goods? Not here yet. Right, you haul some of this leather back to storage. Bulk goods coming around. I think we are actually running out of wood. A little surprising. It's good because we need to clear a lot more off the map, so we've freed up some wealth as a result of getting rid of that. Although our wealth is resting more than it has in the past. We have a fair amount of material, so we should probably look at what they got. I would love to buy as many components as I can. I feel like the meat we can go ahead and sell just because we are overflowing on food and it's starting to rot. Chem fuel, I'd like to keep if I can, just because I know ultimately we're going to be using it. The thing about the leather is if we don't have enough of any one material, it's not really worth hanging on to. All right, some of this stuff is perfectly fine. That being said, I need more money, so I think to some extent we're going to have to sell some of this stuff, even if it's just the normal quality stuff. All right, that bridges enough of the gap for me. I can buy my components and advanced components, both of which are helpful. I, I get to hang on to the chem fuel, which again, I probably don't need all of it, but I, I wanna say I remember seeing that chem fuel, even there's wood fired generators and then there's chem fuel generators and Converting the wood to chem fuel and then using it in a chem fuel power is more efficient. If I remember that correctly. All right, so we'll build those up there for now because why not? That could connect to our electrical grid. That actually should have helped a little bit on the wealth front. Might not see that reflected yet though. The good news is some of the wealth we're um, we're pretty much eating it. It's going away because we're eating it. So all this food wealth is goes away. All right, so do I want this? It's a heat wave. It is permanent summer, four days. Yeah, I can accept that. We could live with the heat wave. We have air conditioning, all that back to storage for sure. All right, hopefully we take the time to start cutting some of this stuff down. A four day heat wave. All right, we are, it sounds like we're starting to cut it down. Somehow we still have not emptied the stuff off of this animal. Did we break a door open or something? That's very strange. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a gate. All right, Isidoros has joined us. Let's go ahead and set him to warm weather. Herbal medicine is all we can really afford right now. He's a doctor, so that's good. We have another, another doctor in the list here. And that means we could drop down the medical skills of the other people. And then I think we have another cook on our hands. Not that it's high priority. And then hauling and cleaning. Um, I feel like cleaning should be maybe your number one priority. Somebody's got to run around cleaning this place up all the time. And there we go. Finally getting some wood out. Maybe we get some hauling done at some point. I mean, some of this stuff is... Uh, uh, why can we not build that? Oh, those, that was already a gate. I don't know why it was being a little silly like that. All right, so these we are actually going to refill, and these give 1,000 watts with chem fuel. I think we can start actually getting rid of the wood-fired generators. We'll convert them to chem fuel generators at some point. All right, we did tame an elephant. Make sure all the elephants are always outside. Uh, we don't have to do that yet. Okay, so we do have an elephant that is tamed on, not to hauling, but on rescuing and attacking. So, there is some potential there at least. We don't have any weapons at the moment, but I'm hoping we get to the point where we can do something about that. It right, looks like we are keeping this place a little bit cleaner. Isidoros is running around doing his job, cleaning up. Hopefully shortly after doing some hauling, because that definitely needs to happen too. I think cleaning should remain a higher priority than hauling. We do need another bed. 
at some point if router is going to be joining us try hunt all of these alpacas as many as we can that'll give us a good amount of uh material for clothing and hats and whatnot. all right how is our wealth now i'm guessing going up i do also need to do a trade caravan to keep the uh relationships up yeah our wealth has definitely increased a little bit although i don't really have a ton of like materials that have caused wealth to increase mech cluster of 3x size no thank you i will pass on that and i'm not really seeing much here to the trade that has any uh value right now i haven't done anything with batteries yet I really should probably get to the point where I'm doing something with batteries. We really need to get these dusters done because that is going to help people significantly with uh, temperature. We need 80, 80 fabric. Hopefully we can get that. Right, I do want to chop out all these thumps as well so it doesn't grow back. Or at least not as quick. Because I want the fields to be open for like the grasses to um, be able to grow. Right, the indoor temperature is at least better, so I'm hoping when this heat stroke ticks down. Yeah, it looks like it is ticking down when they're indoors. Good. Although Rubinette's not not doing too hot there. Probably get another passive cooler up and running. At some point I'll have to get like an actual cooler. Passive's not gonna keep up with all the heat that's being output by this stuff. Alright, there we go. We got some heat stroke was ticking down for a minute there all right hopefully we're getting more of this taken out of here why are the animals still there is it just because this gate's open hoping anyway all right i was thinking they would focus on the dusters since that is number one priority Looks like they haven't actually done that yet a little bit unfortunate yeah working on pants oh no well now there's nothing left to make butt dusters so hopefully Hopefully they start working on that. Like we're definitely knocking down resistance. We do have to do, switch over to hemogen farm real quick. Oh, look at this. Perfect timing. Doesn't even matter if they're good or bad. We need somebody for hemogen. So I, I like these top two, but this one is killer. A little capture there. Pretty far away. So hopefully they'll get back into I don't have to work too much. But yeah, he's a doctor, right? He can tend directly. Right, let's do a little hemogen farm there. Probably not much harm in doing that. Doctoring is number one priority, so we will do that before doing any additional cleaning. Which I think makes sense. I don't like this cobra being here. We're getting pretty close to microelectronics. Not quite there, but we're getting close. Dang elephants are eating my food. Uh, let's check this animal zone again. I, I think I just want to expand. I mean, it's already encompassing most of this area, so there's plenty of wild vegetation for these elephants to go eat. That isn't my food. I want this an I want this cobra dead. Looks like we're doing a little bit of hauling. Good. I mean, you were already negative 88. I'm not that worried about it. Hopefully we start hauling some of this wood. I feel like there's still more wood to chop here, but I, some of this stuff's only a little bit grown. Like one of our elephants isn't doing too great. Hopefully they do okay in the long run. Oh, that last guy had, st had stallions. It wasn't that we were selling our stallions. So that was unfortunate. I had an opportunity to buy a horse. Although I guess it doesn't matter. I have five elephants. Elephants are probably better. Well, they are better, but I just don't know how many don't have that many elephants. All right, let's toggle this back on. I think we could break down this centrit dirt, maybe. Though I don't know if that falls under smelting. Um, I guess it's probably... Wait, are these unconnected this whole time? <laughs> well, should be better now. All right, nearby camp. Six Yitakin. Get a couple masterwork bows and some camp loot, or I can make people happier. I mean... It worth it i doubt it all right looks like that's forcing us to do some stuff we don't want to be doing go ahead and start a death rest i feel like that's probably necessary how is routers you know did we ever check our prisoner well they're air conditioned they're fine i'm a little concerned about the hunter lacking a ranged weapon that 
Seems problematic to me. Let's go ahead and form a caravan and get some trading happening here. I actually think maybe we trade with this one first this time around. Bonded animal. Go ahead and take this elephant with us. So I don't think we need this many M fuels right now. We don't we're not using enough of it. Keep the alpaca wool because we're har we're actively harvesting that right now. These blocks are providing wealth and they're not doing anything for us right now, but eventually when I get to moisture pumps, they will do something. Good on wood, I don't have to worry about that. I also don't have to worry about like getting rid of it or anything. I'm hesitant to send some of these items with uh, because I don't want them spending more time and materials making that before they start making dusters. Dusters are gonna help us with the heat. So I'm not really sending a lot, um, sending a little bit. That's fine. Any wealth off the map is good wealth off the map, as far as I'm concerned. Still a lot of steel up here that's not counting in our inventory because it's not in storage, but uh, it is available to us and that's like 300 and something. I would really like to get a weapon up and running. We have nothing right now. Yeah, our wealth has climbed by a bit and we really don't have much to show for it, to be honest. All right, how's Bud doing? Bud's not doing great. I'll be honest, not doing good. I don't know if he's gonna make it, to be honest. All right, microelectronics has been researched. And as weird as this sounds, I think we need to... Where's machining? Oh, I need a high-tech research bench. Okay. We can actually deconstruct this research bench since nobody's been using it anyway. Ooh, hello. Iron will trigger happy, artistic. Which faction is this? Do I care that these guys get mad at me? Probably not. All right, well, maybe you can go out there and do some tending. While you're tending, does anybody else have construction ability? Rev, you... Okay. Like, you're already deconstructing this, but maybe we can have you focus on deconstructing this torch lamp so that we can build a bed spot. Kidnap the boy over here. Right, the other thing we need to do is get a high-tech research bench up and running. Like it costs about 250 steel. Uh, building this thing is going to be a challenge. Oh, maybe not as much of a challenge as I thought. It is unfortunate we can't relocate it. All right, so he is mostly fine now. So let's go ahead and capture him. Oh, he broke out. Let's get that done. What are you doing? Picking a fight with an elephant while you're already wounded seems very silly. We double angering because of that. Capture router again. He's bleeding out, which is never good. Right, let's clean up all this blood. It's like it never happened. Everybody's miserable. Alright, Balaki, are you slowly getting this person back into storage? It does feel like a recruitable person, so that's good. Let's go ahead and trade. All right, what are we gonna do here? Never gonna trade all that away. That does give us a small amount of positive cash. Question is, what is what do I want to buy? What do I need to buy? Skip's always good. Don't have enough cash for it, I don't think. Hmm, I do. Though nobody has the ability to do that yet. There's a good sniper rifle. Actually, we'll take that because we have somebody that has no weapon whatsoever. So I do think there's probably a little more value in that than getting Skip. I'm pretty sure I can get Skip elsewhere. Isidorus would be a good person to get Skip on, I think. Okay. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Let's go ahead and convert. Hopefully Isidorus stops freaking out soonish. We are running a little low on food. It's going to be like another day before this death rest is done. I mean, we're not out of food, we're running a little bit low. All right, I think all our doctors are sleeping right now, so that doesn't bode particularly well for our, anyone. Pretty sure all of our cooks are also either freaking out or something's happening. You're gonna do some cooking because we're out of out of resource. You have to do some. What are you doing? No, you don't need to do that. We have food. We don't need to make them even more unhappy. It's good enough for now.
Still do not understand why these animals are stuck on a hitching spot. Oh, nobody ever tended to Router. Sorry, Router. Thought somebody would have tended to you, or it's unfortunate you were tough and you had a passion in crafting. Wah, wah. Oh well. Next time. We almost have some wealth from the psychoid plant. So that'll be nice when it's done. Uh, we didn't have a research project because we were waiting for that to be finished. Now moisture pumps are in the cards. Let's go ahead and try to knock that out so we can be way better positioned to build a more effective base than what we have going on right now. It's The moisture is just killing us right now. I want to replace all this wood with stone and then, you know, you're never going to, you're never going to survive that. We need to take that leg off. In the dark, in the dirt, out of bed. But that's gonna go real well. Probably at least put a lamp there. Maybe we could get that built before he finishes surgery. I don't think this is gonna work out too well for you. I, yeah, I don't think we have enough time. No, we didn't, okay. So we actually lost two people when we lost um, relation with uh, a tribe for effectively no reason. I think we gotta deconstruct this hitching spot because it's causing us some grief. So the question becomes, why are you so malnourished? Both of you are capable of cooking, so I'm gonna have you do some cooking, even though you are the one that can do the cleaning more than anything. Still a good skill to have, I guess. It looks like we got some blue going on in the colony, which is not good. Probably convert this into an electric stove at some point. Oh, somebody's gonna get food poisoning. A little self-tending just because, um, our other doctor is not, uh, well, I guess he's available. Everybody needs to tend to each other. So I thought we had bed rest as top priority. Maybe because doctoring is a higher priority. All right, well, hopefully he makes it. So our two recruits actually ended up both dying, which is not great. Trev, you were, who else was? Raven, you were a cook. Do a little butcher priority. Make humane meat and some humane leather out of this, which we can then convert to something. Oh boy. We actually lost an elephant there, huh? Where are you going? You get a turtle? No. No need. It looks like Isodorus is not doing too, too great on the uh, flu front. I think we're going to burn through all of our herbal medicine. No, we never did give him a weapon. It would be good for him to scoop up a weapon. You know, we also never clean this space, so people are going to get some pretty nasty food poisoning at some point. Oh, and Fisa is back and awake. All right, that's good. At least she can handle some of the cooking stuff that needs to happen. Uh, Isidoros, I don't know why you are doing anything other than resting. I would have thought that would have been under animal handling. Really, we're giving a lavish meal to a uh, alpaca that's starving. Oh, whatever. That's the world we want to live in. All right, this just seems very inefficient. We should be hauling entire stacks rather than a little bit at a time. Oh yeah, there's a supplier here. A little trading. He is resting up, I hope. He does okay. Does not look like he's doing particularly good. I think we might need to switch him to industrial medicine. Otherwise, this might end fairly badly for him. Can't afford to buy anything. There's nothing really sell. Kind of pointless. Let's turn off self-tending because I don't want to waste waste a tend on that. All right, we're getting some good industrial medicine. Have a good tend. 71%. That's pretty good. Stop getting out of bed. Suppose you have to, to do the basics, but still. You know what? For now, we're going to take you off doctoring. Somebody else can deal with that because you just need to lay in bed. All right, there's got to be dirt somewhere because I mean, some of this mess up. That count is in this room. Apparently, it did. All right, where are you going? You're milking a boomalope. I think it's more important that we get some of this rice hauled. Oh, we got a nearby secret complex. That's kind of cool. I don't know why we hauled that up there instead of, I don't know, literally anywhere else. All right, how is your health going? Not good, but it's trending better, maybe? 
All right, thank goodness we got some moisture pumps. That is going to be extremely helpful. Now we got to work on deep drilling and ground penetrating scanner. Let's get those moisture pumps up and running as fast as possible because that is definitely going to be a thing. So I think that encompasses that whole thing. Make sure this whole room is covered at least as much as possible. They do use a fair amount of components to build. So that's going to suck because it's going to pretty much consume all of our components. But it is extremely necessary. All right, that's a decent quality tend. You're probably done a little cleaning first because I think that increases the uh, end quality. I mean, we're throwing everything we got, and I don't even know if this is up. I don't think it is. I'm very concerned about it. Climate adjuster is not good. Pretty much a permanent heat wave. That moisture pump up and running. Another animal disease. But we still have a breeding pair. Not that they're actively breeding, but at least have it. I feel like it is catching up. Low, but it is catching up. Mine out some of the steel. Uh, why did you stop tending? Where did you go? What? What do you? Care? We're gonna clean up this entire room while that they are hauling that uh, medicine back. Eighty-one percent right, ten quality. I think that's about as good as we could hope for at the moment. Got some steel hauling away. We do have thirty-five components, so it's it's likely we will be able to accommodate all these moisture pumps. I feel like there's quite a bit of overlap between this one and this one, though. It's fine. It'll just get it done quicker. It immediately converts to the tile that it's on. So you could just deconstruct, build another one, deconstruct, build another one. But that wastes a ton of materials. So I'm a little bit lazy about that. I don't know if I want to really tempt fate by doing that. All right, is he still not? Um, okay, he's super close to catching up. It's going to be dicey. We have to tend 78%. That's pretty good. Should stay in the positive at this point, I believe. All right, get these moisture pumps done, hopefully. Uh, how is she doing? He's all right. Probably be fine. Green, so hopefully. Hopefully, it'll be all good. We do need to keep the power cable going down to here. And over here. And down here. Actually, not even just down there. We need to come all the way over here. I mean, at that point, we might as well just interconnect everything. It's kind of silly not to. All right, she has immunity. You're barely going to squeak by. But as long as you do squeak by, we're good. I don't want to lose any count. Deep drilling is done. I think after that, we are looking at ground penetrating scanner. So these take about a year, I think, to fully expand their radius. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. How that goes i'm really 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 hoping that this ends up being good you got a good tent quality should be should be good uh tantruming that's just smashing things that's fine we can work with that run around repairing anything he starts beating on it's actually not that many valuable things all right our elephant is pregnant i'm glad you're getting some recreation but you, you need to lay down in bed You'll be fine soon enough, hopefully. All right, these moisture pumps, got to give them time to work, but eventually we're going to be able to replace these walls, close this room out. This might end up being my power. All right, you are good now, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and put that back to number one doctor priority. We'll be able to ultimately make this into another room. And then, really lucky... I get these moisture pumps all done. Oh no, that's all my animals. They're all on fire. Oh my, and you know, all my structures. It's also a massive problem. Oh, and it's all super flammable. We cannot keep up with that. But you guys all have to wake up because we need all the fire, all the people's power to put out as much fire as possible and tend to these dying animals. There goes another boomalo. We are really uh, kind of running thin on boomalope here. We do still have a breeding pair, so it's not completely hopeless. Actually, we're fine. We got two, two and two. It'll be fine. If anything, it might help with some of the animal shortage we got going on right now, or the food shortage for the animals we got going on. 
that is gonna just chew through the herbal medicine. But the good news is it's giving us some meat. Uh, let's haul a whole stack, please. Be a little smarter. There we go. Now we're getting some proper lavish meals. I was wondering why they weren't building the connections, and it's just because we didn't mine enough steel. Go ahead and indicate to mine more steel. Again, we're going to haul all the rice, not just a little. Looks like we did churn through a lot of that. Shuttleborn Assault. Provide seven soldiers. So literally my entire colony you want me to send. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work too well. All right. Hopefully soon the rest of these moisture pumps will be up and running. And then we just pretty much just have to wait a year. I know I didn't get this top corner here. I'll have to build something there at some point. But if I can at least get the proper, the proper structure done, I want to get rid of all of these. Shut them down. And Fisa, they're being silly again. There you go. I know you're working on simple meals, but why don't you butcher and that will let you make some more lavish meals. Look at that. All right, ground penetrating scanner has been researched. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, there's a lot we got to do, but precision rifling would be good, but we need all of this first. So let's work our way through to precision ri rifling because making weapons would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, we still have somebody using a bow. Which is definitely not the ideal scenario. Alright, so all these moisture pumps are up and running. I think we're generating enough power to be able to consistently power them. Rubinette is our intellectual MVP. Just churning out research. We do have a decent amount of wood piled up still, although we've reduced it by a fair percentage. Is there anything that we have that's worth trading away right now? Uh, wildlife wise, I think we can definitely take out these alpacas. Probably a bunch of capybaras. Pretty much any animal that doesn't look like it's gonna engage in killing me. Uh, why do you have a. Ah, uh, this is the go juice dependency. Okay. So he needs go juice. We need to go find either find go juice or produce go juice. I'm pretty sure we have. The ability to make a drug lab. Question is, where am I going to put it at this point? Like, very, very hodgepodge. Like, right here is the only spot that's going to work at the moment. Are we out of components? We are low on components. That is not good. We had some goats joining us. He was our cleaner, so we kind of have to do something. Part of me wants to leave these psychoid leaves here now because that is usable to make the drugs. All right, gunsmithing is done. A blowback operation. We're just gonna slowly work our way to precision rifling. Go ahead and hop on this world map and see if we can form a trade caravan. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll just have go juice and I don't, I don't have to worry about making it right away. Part of me wants to sell these goats just because we can. I will definitely sell at least 250 chem fuel because we can always get more of that. I'm not worried about that at all. We'll take as much of this leather as possible, particularly the human leather. It's going to have some value. I won't take the alpaca wool. Uh, elephant tusks we can sell. This is all tainted stuff, so I'm not really sure why we have tainted stuff in our inventory. I feel like we had it set to not allow that, but maybe we, we do. Let's go take a look at... The allow tainted apparel is set to no. Apparently, some of these are not linked up. Yeah, apparently that tainted sword there. Uh, this one is also not part of it. Don't exactly know how that happened, but there's 30 shelves and they are 30 linked buildings. So hopefully that will resolve itself now. Ooh, she's still dealing with the heat because we do not have uh, what you call it. We never got around to making proper dusters. We never had enough material. Oh, and a heat wave on top of an increase. That is definitely not good. Not gonna work well for us at all. We're gonna do some butchering after this because I wanna get some of the leather from these alpacas. 
All right, well, I think I can go ahead and call it an episode there. It's uh, kind of a mixed bag. We lost two of our prisoners that we were intending on converting, um, which is never great because we lose the opportunity. Um, 30 again. We, we got to get him back up and running. He was doing the cleaning. Um, we lost a couple of animals due to, I don't know, combination of incompetence and malnourishment. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, I think those are the only real bad things that happened this episode. The good things are we made a lot of progress towards new technologies. We're getting really close to being able to make our own assault rifles, which is ultimately where I want to get everyone. We have the ability, even though we haven't actually done it yet, uh, we have the ability to make a ground penetrating scanner and deep drills, so we can effectively get everything we need locally off of our own map uh, so we don't have to really be as concerned about any of that although I still cannot make opponents which is something I have to get to the point of doing go ahead and do this trade real quick before I call it an end of the episode uh, we could sell the chem fuel that's what we brought along that's why we brought it along and what we were looking for was go juice which I do not see. Oop. There is no go juice, but that's okay because we can make go juice. We just need some components. It is way more than we can afford. Maybe 35, seven. All right, so 37 components is what we can afford. So I will buy what we can get and head back to our camp. And the hope is with those components, we will be able to make this drug lab Looks like we are working on a duster here, so that's good. Uh, but anyway, I think the goal for the next episode is, well, one, to make sure everybody's got a duster. Uh, two, try to get to precision rifling and start making assault rifles and get to the point where we can make components. Try to clear out some of these climate adjustments so things aren't so crazy from a temperature perspective. And then also try to just continue keeping our wealth as down as possible. It has been creeping up slowly, um, but it has not biked uncontrollably yet. So I do have to just try to keep mindful of what we're doing and keep disposing of things we don't need and selling things that we can sell uh, while continuing to expand our colony. Once these moisture pumps get to a point where the radius effectively pumps out all this moisture, we could start switching this to stone uh, down here in particular, I can actually close this off and make this into a room. And, you know, maybe at some point we can we can reach uh, the point where we can make um, like a kill tunnel or something uh, over here. Because all of this is potentially buildable. Although I do have to be a little careful about the uh, the marshy soil because I can't make a, say a burn box out of a wooden wall that would not uh, end well for me or uh, anybody else so that's the plan right now we're just going to keep continue plotting forward thank you for watching if you liked the video hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future we'll catch you in the next one